Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Let's Play series. I haven't recorded an episode for this in a while, uh, just haven't had the mood to play Minecraft, so I haven't really had a chance to try out the new update. I don't really know what's in the new update, really. I've been out of the loop severely. So, I think the best thing to go is just, I've backed up my world, and it's still in 1.16.05, so I think it's time we just hop in. Joining world. It's been mining. Okay. Oh, and I am running uh, sodium. Okay, let me just do a couple of things in this menu here. Well, I can already tell you things are a lot nicer. They load quicker. Look at this. Whoa, that is kind of wild. I need to get my zoom because I had that from Optifine, so I'll install a zoom mod and some other things. But so far, oh, and so. Wait, wait, okay, okay. So this is something I do know from the new update. If we take a, in case of death, if we take our platinum pickaxe, which is fortune, and we mine a iron block with it, we get chunks. We get four raw, and then that turns to four iron. So now we have a genuine reason, because if we just smelt this, it turns to one iron. But if we lay out four pieces, okay, like let's see, how much iron do we get? Is it four every time, or? Oh, no, we got really lucky with four. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, let's check out all the new block, all the new ore textures. So what? We got redstone, gold, iron, diamond, gold again, coal, and coal. We'll check out emerald in just a second when we get back to base. How do we, what do we think about them? I quite like them, honestly. I really like diamond, actually. That that looks a lot more shiny. That looks shinier, as it should be, considering it's diamond. Gold also looks very shiny. Redstone. I feel like they had such an opportunity to make only that glow. Like, it, may be, it doesn't even glow anymore. Like, it just kind of does. I'm really happy with that. I think they did a great job. I think they did. Uh... I guess we should do some exploring. Let me just... Oop. in ready for the new update oh we won't improve will we oh i saw something oh <gasps> we are oh my god what is this what is this what is this? what is this what is this deep slate so we're already getting new blocks okay 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 so the portals link up i checked oh <gasps> Oh my god, new iron! I'm gonna mine this whole vein. Oh, what is this? What is this? Tough. That's tough, bro. That's tough. <laughs> Sorry. Had to make the joke. Uh, what is tough? Why is it so tough? Why is it so hard to work with? I'm sorry, I'm not funny. I mean, it's not fun. I I'm sorry, guys, I'm just not funny. I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not gonna be that guy. I think the true definition is called a pick me boy. Ah! But I will be collecting all of this deep slate. This looks so cool. I actually cannot wait to build with this. I need to get back into building. I'm not, I haven't played any Minecraft, bro. Um, dude, <laughs> I feel like I'm talking like for someone, but like, honestly, it's been so long since I played Minecraft and I'm having so much fun with this already. Oh, this stuff is so cool. I feel like I've been modded when you like find a new stone and you're like, I'm gonna build some I'm gonna build something with this stone. Let me get all of it so I'll never have to run out. It's like pole in the beginning. Like, oh we got diamonds. Look at us. Look at us prospering. What is this? Rule number one of Minecraft, never dig straight down. And I violated it. Oh, oh my god, this is so cool. We're finding all the new blocks. So this is all deep slate, right? So this is deep slate and this is tough. What can we use tough for? See, we'll need nothing. Probably need a crafting table or a stone cutter. Okay, <laughs> RIP, I guess. Live long. Well, he didn't, but like, it's the spirit that counts. 
I want to find one of those like gem things. No, why am I mining this? You're oh, you're old. You're old news. You're old redstone ore. You're lo You're basically a loser. Like no one even cares about you anymore, dude. Who cares about old redstone ore? <gasps> ah! Oh my god. 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 <laughs> Copper. I found copper. I'm so happy. No, not my sword, not my sword, not my sword, not my sword. My sword is vital. Okay, so uh, rule number one, I guess, be a bit aware of our surroundings. I guess we learned a lesson. Uh, rule number two, why does the cave end? Caves don't end like this. Oh, well, maybe they do if I... No, no, okay, I gotta stop the water, I gotta stop the water. Um... Oh my god, I should be a water engineer because my work is tough. Get it? Because I, I use tough to like, feel, feel like yeah, get it, you know? It's funny, guys. Funny laugh. He's... Oh! All the work I put in. All the work I put in. No! Okay, you know what? That's done. That cave is done. Okay, so I did some more exploring, and these are definitely not new chunks. Oh, I'm, I'm experiencing some crazy lag here, but they're only like occasional spikes. Just like that. Okay, it's super weird. But I did think, I, I think we found another stronghold. Ugh, this lag is helping. Okay, I reloaded Minecraft and it's a bit laggy, but that's just how it is when I first load in. Let's take an ender chest. Let's take this. Let's get a silk touch pick because then I can mine my ender chest back when I need it. I need myself an elytra. And maybe torches. I guess we can get that at the uh, mining outpost. Okay, so after realizing that a pickaxe is not a good weapon, uh, where the hell is my stuff? Oh, there's my stuff. There's my stuff. There's my stuff. There's my stuff. Okay. No, I don't want to have to eat. Please blow up. Please, please, please. Okay. All well, that matters. Please leave me alone. Let me just get my stuff. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you? That sword is so powerful. I don't think, or that axe. Huh. Oh, give me all my stuff. Please. Please. Give me all my stuff. Oh my God. I was so scared that creeper was gonna blow it up. I was so scared that creeper was gonna blow it up. Okay, so ignore the big recording symbol. Sibnal? 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 I'm just recording myself build something. Um, you got a sneak peek of it right there. But I thought I'd show you what I found. So, I don't know what this is, but it's basalt. Smooth basalt. But mine it, I also get smooth basalt. So, oh, and then there's this marble, calcite, <laughs> and that mines instantly. So I want to be careful about only mining the deep. <gasps> okay, that one mines easily. That's budding, that's budding, meaning it like produces these guys. So this one's a budding one. But this is a real one. This is a geode. We found a geode, guys. Oh, listen to it. That's so cool. 
Is there like a natural light in here? There is. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I love this place. So I'm gonna mine this out and I'm gonna just collect all the blocks and take good care not to break these guys. Do you get, oh, you need to silk touch them, okay. Okay, so yeah, I'll just mine them all out. So, uh, in the last clip, you saw that I was recording something. I actually lost the recording for the first building, but um, here's the time lapse for the second recording for the second building I built. I thought it would be cool to show you guys this. Um, try for going for I tried going for a different style. I mean, not completely different. I've built in this style. This is the style I build in. But yeah, kind of like how it turned out. Welcome back. And here we are. I did a little more since you last saw. I think there's a couple more details on here. The roof, of course. Um, just And we got a pond as well. We got a pond with two axolotls. We might go axolotl hunting, see if we can get some of the rare ones. Very cute. Um, so yeah, welcome to the copper outpost. As I think I said, we need to get copper. And so here is our copper mining outpost. We have our copper here, we have our crystals, because obviously we're mining and we're getting a lot of gems and copper. Um, and down here is our storage solution. So as you can see, I have everything from ores, gravel, cobblestone, stone, calcite, cobble deep slate, deep slate, tuff, granite, diorite, dirt, andesite, back to ores. Uh, and it's automatically sorted. Um, I can just usually, here, I'll just show you. So if we go down to a, a mining platform, or where, where we mine, and I want to deposit some items, I go to this thing and just chuck them in there. And if we go up here, they should end up here in just a second. And there they are. Um, so yeah, the little stream is over here and it just takes it into a hopper system where it gets sorted. I didn't do any fancy stuff, just a normal hopper sorting system. Um, and I think I'm about done with this area for now. I mean, I'll be coming here to mine. I'll be setting up more beacons, of course, but I thought I'd just show you guys. I'll be packing up shop here, taking a bunch of this stuff home, putting it into the chests. But that's not the only time lapse I have to show you guys. I think I'm going to show you another, and this one's a little more drastic. Now, I don't really like spawn in its state right now, so I was never a fan of it. I don't think I'll ever be a fan of it. So that's why I decided to change it up, decided to add a couple things. And so there's a time lapse of that of me terraforming spawn quite heavily. So just a couple seconds on and it should come on. And there you go. So as you're watching me terraform this uh, mountainside or this hillside, I'm planning to make this like a wheat field and put like a you know a windmill and cover it in wheat and it's gonna look really cool um so yeah that's that's the plan and hopefully once we've got that done it'll look very cool it'll look very appealing um i'm actually not sure if the time loss has ended yet so i'm going to assume it ends at 56 seconds on the clock which is now uh, and you might see a couple new additions so I added a bit more detail, um, not much, like just set the stones, the rocks, I cleaned it up a bit more with the dirt and stuff, a bit of mossy cobble here and there. We got a tree, because I thought we, this could be our backyard, because it's going to be two different biomes, so I thought it'd be nice that we have the windmill like placed right here, and then it would have like, you know, like a maybe darker uh, backyard, and then the backyard would also be a cliff, because I think that's kind of cool. Um, I tried my best to make it look natural. I really hope I did. I can't tell with these things. I think it looks very good, cool. And I, I really like the way I kind of, because uh, on rocky beaches, this is what happens. Like, you get the, these rocky mountainsides. And so I thought, like, okay, this is realistic of how it actually looks in real life. Um, you can see we did the other side too. I didn't show it off that much, but yeah, we have a whole sand beach here. 
um, and then it turns to rocks, and then it kind of like transitions from rocks on the beach to rocks on the mountain. And there's also just a like thing back here because you can't really see, from not many from many angles can you actually like see this. So I decided not to do anything with it. And there's a little pathway back here <laughs> to the original mountain, <laughs> the original hill. It's right here. So yeah, um, I I don't really like doing build heavy episodes but like I don't really know what farms I want to make I don't know what like automation things I want to do um I've been really in the mood to like just you know make this world a little more personable so a lot of building going on you just you guys just witnessed that time lapse I think that we're about to enter another time lapse where we do the wheat and we make our little windmill hope you enjoy that guys okay I think we should take a break from the building. Well, we're still going to build something, but we're going to do some redstone. Um, specifically, tripwire redstone. How does tripwire make... How, how make how make tripwire? Oh, iron. So I think we're running low on... We need to build that iron farm. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Okay. Spruce. Bone. Oh, wait. Stick. Iron. We get that. No, we should now have... Oh, I thought we would make one. Oh, and we already had a stack. I was just blind. Oh my god, okay, never mind. I'm so dumb. Oh, I, I'm i such a klutz. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. We have that now. So let's grab this stack. Let's put away this iron. Grab some string. Grab a trap door. Um, and a pressure plate. We should make some. I don't think we have any dark oak ones. ba ba ba, -ba. Okay, so uh, you might be wondering, what are we doing? So this little hole here, if we drop down it, we end up here, which is a bit of a not essential part of our base, but it's a part of our base that I didn't know we were so close to, like, like, like the top, like right here, if we go all the way up, we're right here. So yeah, that's cool. So I wanted to make a way that we could just get down there and then we could come back up really easy, but I wanted to make it a bit clean. Like, if I go here, I don't want to, maybe we shouldn't do a trapdoor. Maybe, hmm. Okay, we're going to do it with pistons, because pistons are cool. Um, I don't know if we can make it fast enough, though. Because, like, it would be really cool if it would, like, drop out. And then, when we were coming out, it would also do it. I don't know. Here, let's see if we can, let me just set it up. Before, I should probably, yeah, just block this up because I will drop so many items down there. Okay, so... Okay, so... I'm recording, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple. So what happens here is when we press this, this redstone torch goes off. This detracts. Um, and then a tick after that happens, or two, actually. Um, another redstone torch here gets turned off, which detracts these. So we just have that. So it should be fairly quick. Let's see if I set it up. Okay, up here. Oh, we could even, I think, have it here. Can we, though? Yeah, no, we can't do that. So it has to be here. Well, we have a bit of a bigger issue. Our villagers have turned to zombies. This iron golem. So... Okay. Second step is... Um, going to get some weakness potions to fix these guys. I got them, and now I'll grab some golden apples, and uh, I guess I'll lead them to their house. Hey, this way. Come on. God damn it. That's oh, okay. Unless he picks up my stuff, it's fine. It's not fine. He picked up my stuff. Ugh. And if he has my stuff, you know, if he has my stuff, I'm done. Oh. Okay, just run in there. Grab the stuff. Walk around him.
so we suffered some casualties. Um, we only got our platinum pickaxe out of that. Um, but we'll fix that later. For now, I want to show you our little thing. So you can see I put a trapdoor there. I thought it'd be kind of cool because then you can like, you know, go and drop down when you need to work. Like, like so. You just drop down. If there's anything wrong, probably won't be anything wrong. You can end up pearl out of there. Um, and see, so yeah, I just drop down and there's some water at the bottom. Uh, we're actually using a button, as you can see here. We're not using a tripwire because tripwire only worked half the time. So we opted to go for a button because it was just better. So you line up and then you fly up and you hit some cobwebs and you can end up pearl your way out of there. But I think it's time we get ourselves some new pants and a new pickaxe because these pants are actually cursed to binding. So getting a nice pair of pants might be useful. Okay, uh, I got this pickaxe, efficiency four and breaking three and protection for leggings. So let's fly on over to the library. Bloody Endermen, they are ruining our infrastructure over here. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of funny. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? We need, what do we need? It's not here, not this. Mending, mending, we need mending. One, two. Ah, what's it clicking? Oh, no, no, uh, I didn't mean to throw the shovel. Give me back my shovel. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, efficiency five, do we have efficiency five? I don't think we have efficiency five. Yeah, we don't have efficiency five. Case closed. There we go. And it shut up. <laughs> um, what else do we need? We need silk touch. Should be there too, right? Bum, bum. And we need unbreaking. Oh, and we're gonna need an unbreaking book. Just over here. And boop. And there we go. And I think that's a pretty good showcase of our library. Uh, we've never really used it before like that, or at least not in the video. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go over to the nether, get some levels, and then we'll get all our tools and leggings. Well, I'd say 65 levels is about enough. Almost 66, but not quite there. Um, well, let's go back home and forge our leggings and pickaxe into netherite. All right, so the last pickaxe we made was named after a Terraria pickaxe, so I think it's only fitting that we do it again. I say we go with Spectre. Spectre pickaxe. Seems like a good choice. Spectre pickaxe. Mm, let's not put mending first. No, no, no. No. Uh, let's turn it to efficiency five. Let's put silk touch. And then we put mending. Bam. And with our pants, what are we going to call them? Jeans. Yeah. Or, mm, let's go with jeans. Black jeans, because they will be netherite, right? So yeah, black jeans. Balk. <laughs> I'm breaking, and then mending. And let's run over to our thing. Well, grab the netherite first, and then let's run over to our um, workbench. And we got our netherite specter pickaxe, and we got our black jeans. Very cool. That's the first pair of netherite jeans we've ever made in this world, I think. And I think they look pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy indeed. 